What's going on everyone? My name is Justin. I'm the founder of LibertyHangout.org. So this past weekend I just graduated from college with a degree in marketing and I'm a member of the National Marketing Honor Society as well as the Honor Society of Epsilon Sigma Pi. And I want to share an important message with the Libertarian Party delegates because this coming weekend they have a very important task ahead of them because they have to choose who's going to go up against Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton in the general election. And in order to choose the best candidate for the taking, we need to understand things from a marketing and sales perspective here. Now when it comes to marketing, there's really two main factors involved here. You have to have knowledge of your product and knowledge of your consumers. Now the knowledge of your consumers can be broken down a little further into your current base who's already using your product as well as your target demographics who you're trying to reach with your product who aren't using it currently and you want to sell this to them. Right now the two most viable candidates in the Libertarian Party and that are dominating the polls are Gary Johnson and Austin Peterson. But I feel from looking at Gary Johnson that he doesn't have too fond of a knowledge of his product or of his consumers. When it comes to libertarianism, Gary Johnson has been running with the same four word slogan for the past four years saying fiscally conservative, socially liberal. Now Austin Peterson on the other hand he comes out and says no, libertarian, that, that's not what libertarianism is. Libertarianism is being fiscally conservative and socially whatever you want to be so long as you're not forcing this on others. As Austin Peterson said in his interview with Now This, he said libertarianism is the idea that you own your body so no one has the right to tell you what to do with your person or your property. That's the product right there and it seems that Austin has a better grasp on the product than Johnson. Then we move over into the knowledge of the consumers. Gary Johnson, he's alienating a lot of the people already using this product called libertarianism with a number of his positions such as forcing Christian bakers to make gay wedding cakes, such as supporting equal pay for women, such as federally funding Planned Parenthood, federally funding scientific research, having some sympathetic arguments towards gun control and naming Bill Weld as his running mate who has enacted gun control as governor of New Hampshire. So. Off the bat, Gary Johnson doesn't even know his own product and he doesn't even know the people already using his product. Now, Austin Peterson, right off the bat, he knows the product by saying that libertarianism is the idea that you own yourself and so no one has the right to tell you what to do with your person or your property. And by knowing the product, he knows the current base because he knows how they're using it and what they're using and he also knows the target demographics because there are going to be millions of disaffected voters that will never vote for Donald Trump or Hillary Clinton because of their big government stances. And these people aren't exactly going to be eager to vote for Gary Johnson either because hey let, let, let's look at his policy positions here. He has some in common with Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton such as being pro-choice, such as wanting to federally fund Planned Parenthood, such as being pro-humanitarian wars, such as wanting to force Christians to bake gay wedding cakes, and such as being pro-gun control to a certain degree. So let's break this down into a little sales scenario here in order to better understand the situation. So Gary Johnson lacks knowledge of the product and of the consumer base. Austin Peterson knows the product he's selling and he knows the consumer base. So let's say that Austin Peterson and Gary Johnson are two employees for Apple and Apple's telling them, hey Gary, hey Austin, go out there and sell us some iPhones. Austin Peterson right off the bat, he knows his product, he knows his base and he's out there successfully marketing the iPhone 6s. Whereas Gary Johnson when he's told to go sell an iPhone, what does he do? He walks out of there and he, he, he starts selling iPhone 3G's to people. So Austin is out here selling the iPhone 6S. He's trying to reach the people that are already using Android smartphones. He knows that these people already know how to use a smartphone. They already are looking for the latest and greatest in technology. They are going to be the easiest people to court and be able to sell them the iPhone 6S because they're already familiar with these types of phones. Whereas Gary Johnson is out here and instead of trying to market the iPhone 
to the people already using the androids. What is he doing? He's out here trying to reach the disaffected Bernie voters. The Bernie voters are out here miles away from libertarianism. They want massive big government. They are the ones using flip phones. And Gary's trying to sell them this iPhone 3G. Well, guess what? Gary's going to falter in trying to get the never Trump vote and in trying to get the Bernie vote because the never Trump people are never going to take a step backwards and go towards the iPhone 3G. And the Bernie people they're never going to jump all the way to an iPhone 3G when the third party candidate from the Green Party, Jill Stein, comes along and she starts selling people texting phones with keyboards. You see, this is what the Bernie voters are going to go after. They're not going to jump right into the iPhones. They're going to jump right into the texting phone that Jill Stein is selling them. So right off the bat, Gary Johnson, by selling the iPhone 3GS, has no knowledge of the target demographics whatsoever. He's trying to sell to the wrong people that aren't going to buy his product. So now we know that Austin Peterson, in selling this iPhone 6S, he has the right demographics in his hand to be able to sell them this product. Now in addition to this, there is another class of voters here that we haven't even taken into account. And those are the people that are going to vote for Trump or Hillary. Now, from what I've witnessed, a lot of people aren't supporting Trump or Hillary because of their policies, but more so to try to keep one or the other out of office, and they want to stick with the status quo. So, the Trump and Hillary voters, they're out here using Blackberries. And they're using Blackberries not because they don't love an Android or an iPhone. They're using a Blackberry because their boss keeps telling them, hey, it's way too tricky to switch over to a new operating system. I'm too afraid to do it. We got to keep using with what we know. This works for us. It's going to be great. Austin Peterson can step in and say, hey, Blackberry users, I know you're afraid to try something new, but here's this great iPhone. I know you're going to lose the fantastic keyboard that you've probably been using for the past 10 years, but hey, all your important functions that you're currently using, your email, your internet, you're going to be able to get that and then some on the iPhone 6S. And you're going to have the Apple App Store at your disposal, so you're going to be able to download a ton of more stuff. So your business is going to be way more productive than ever than you're currently able to achieve with your BlackBerry. But Gary Johnson, he's trying to sell them the iPhone 3GS. It's not the latest and greatest technology, and he's not making the effort to be able to distinguish this from the BlackBerry, the way Austin Peterson is by showing them that this is the latest and greatest in technology and this is not going to fail. This is going to make you as efficient as possible. So if you're a Libertarian Party delegate that's going to be going to the convention in Orlando this weekend, I really hope that this scenario was able to give an accurate portrayal of the primary for you and see that we need to have knowledge of our products and we have to have knowledge of our, of our consumers. It's becoming very evident that Gary Johnson lacks these. And what I'm seeing with the Johnson supporters is they see all these great qualities in Peterson. They know that he has the best policy proposals. But they look at Johnson and they're looking at him from the outside. They're saying, yeah, Peterson may have these good policy ideas, but let's look at Johnson. You know, he's been a governor. You know, the, the iPhone, it's been around for years. People are going to look at this. They're going to have the name recognition. Look at, look, look, look at this iPhone 6S here. It's not as sleek and sexy as this iPhone 3G. You know, people are going to want the iPhone 3G. But no, you have to have the knowledge of the product and the consumers to know that this isn't what they're looking for. They're not looking for the iPhone 3G, folks. They are looking for the latest and greatest in technology. They are looking for what's on the inside here. Those never Trump voters chose to not vote for Trump because they care about the policies. If the never Trump voters were okay with voting for someone that's pro-choice, pro-humanitarian wars, pro-gun control, pro-Planned Parenthood, they'd be off voting for Trump. But they're not. We need to be able to distinguish our product from the other competitors here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, comes in Austin Peterson. He's selling the iPhone success to the world and he's going to make the people love it and want it. Let's do away with the iPhone 3G. This isn't going to win us anything. 
It's outdated. People don't want it. Austin Peterson, 2016. Check out his website, austinpeterson2016.com, austinforpresident.com, ap4lp.com. And make sure you check out libertyhangout.org. We have a number of other articles explaining why we believe Austin should be the nominee and why we don't believe that you should be electing Gary Johnson this coming weekend. Thank you guys so much for watching. And if you are a Libertarian Party delegate, I pray that you make the right decision this weekend. We're going to be going up against the Blackberries in the general election. We need to be able to distinguish from them. The iPhone 3G doesn't do enough to separate itself from the BlackBerry. We need the latest and greatest in technology. We need Austin Peterson for President of the United States.